I've been living in China for almost two years now and one of my favorite apps and my literal addiction is Taobao. Now Taobao is this app where you can practically scan anything and you'll be able to search for that specific product on the website and on the application and you can literally have it delivered to you within days. Like the service is so fast. Some of the products are a little bit questionable but we're gonna look at some of my favorite Pokemon products that I have bought recently on Taobao. So I want to show you everything that I bought from my Taobao haul recently. So let's have a look. First up we have a little something that I'm gonna change into just to make it fitting of the video. So give me a second let me just change. Now that's a little bit more cozy and a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Let's look at some of the other products that I bought. So this was the first one that I did get from Taobao. It is a little Pikachu hat that you can see here. Um, all of these merchandises is not from the official Pokemon store. So it is sort of a knockoff or a recreation of the brand. I guess you would say it's like, it's like a fake Pokemon kind of thing. But yeah, this one was around 13 RMB and it's pretty good. It goes with my little Pikachu fluffy little Pikachu plushie that I got from the Pokemon Center. So I think that is a pretty cool vibe. It's kind of cute. So let's move on to something still keeping on the trend of comfiness because I just want to feel cozy while we're doing this video. The next product here that we have are these Psyduck slippers. <laughs> these are the Psyduck slippers um, that I did get from about here we're gonna put them on to see how they feel one thing i want to note is that they are very squishy like this is a big squishy guy and the face is kind of a little bit strange all right we have our side slippers on we've got our pikachu hat on now you know like in the morning i've just taken a shower and i want to feel a little bit dry i want to feel cool but what better way to do it than to do it in my side towel <laughs> Now, Psyduck does look a little bit strange here, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, that's a scary looking Psyduck. Um, but, you know, like, if you're just out of the shower, out of the towel, like, you just put your towel on, then you want to feel, like, very cutesy, very demure, then maybe this is the vibe that you want to go for. Um, yeah, Psyduck looks <laughs> so res. So I'm just gonna leave this one here for now, and then we'll move on to some of the other ones. God, I don't want to look at it, it's so weird. Keeping on the theme of water Pokemon, we're going to be looking at the next product, which is Wordle Squad glasses. So I'm gonna just pop them on here. Do I look like a Pokemon master yet? <laughs> <laughs> now that we've covered over like the basics, like the products that are just not that weird, not that strange, I want to look into the more weirder kind of products that I did find on Taobao. Let's just say that some of these products should not have existed. Like, whoever had made this... Jail, honey. Jail. Because these products are just a disaster. Let me just get into it and show you. <laughs> okay, let's just kick it off with something that is just a little bit weird. It's kind of weird. I, I find it weird. That's why I bought it and I was just a little bit, like, estranged as to what it was. But it's basically these Pokemon noodles. Um, I haven't given it a try and I'm kind of scared because I've had this for quite a long time. It is seafood flavor and they have um, it's all catered around Eevee for some reason. Um, and everything on the back is in Chinese and in Japanese so I can actually understand what the product says. So I'm gonna leave that for now and I'll try it in a different video. Next up is this strange Pokemon box and basically it is, you know those like little coin things that you used to have as a child? Um, usually you would see like a kitty cat or something that's collecting coins. Well here they actually have a Pikachu edition. I guess it's Pikachu. It says give me the coins mischievous saving box. Hurry up to collect. Pokemon saving pot. Now is it an official product? I don't think so. It does say like made in China on the bottom. Um, but yeah, Mischievous Saving Box. Um, they are using like the official artwork, <laughs> which is a little bit concerning. So hopefully like nothing comes of that. But if we look into the box itself, once we remove all of the plastic and we've got the batteries that also came with it, I can see this is the box here. And we're just gonna basically put in our batteries on the bottom half. So we're going to pop in our two batteries here, one here and one here. <laughs> OK, 
okay. Um, so immediately like I put in the battery, some kind of noise happened and I wasn't really sure what this noise was, but we're gonna try it again. Um, this time we're gonna just press this button. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so adorable! <laughs> Do we have a coin to try it with? Oh, I'm back, we have our one piece coin that is going to be our victim here. So we're going to place the coin onto the box here. And hopefully we'll get to see Pikachu in action. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I bought this and I don't know how I feel about this. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for a later date. But it is a pretty cool little... Yeah, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's very simple. <laughs> it's basically they've stuck a Pokemon sticker onto one of these boxes and the Pikachu is looking some type of way. Pikachu is looking scarce. Anyway, we're gonna leave that for now. I also picked up two different type of plastic kind of figurines and one of them that really piqued my interest was um, there is, so recently there was what, Deadpool versus Wolverine? Well, I don't know who came up with the idea to do Deadpool versus Pokemon because there is a Pikachu that is wearing a Deadpool costume. Honestly, I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's a really cool concept that Pikachu even has like the little nunchucks on the back here that can just clip into place. This one is actually not a weird product. I think it is pretty cool and I kind of like this one. The next one is weird, wild, and bizarre. Like whoever created this probably needs to get something checked out because who thought that this was a good idea to put... <sighs> I, I don't even know. I'm just going to show you. I, I don't have any words for this. Like, whoever created created this, seriously, <laughs> why would anyone want this? Like, why would you want this? Like, why would you want to buy this? It looks like he's literally coming for us. Like, like, why would you want this? Why would you want this? It's just so weird. Like, why would you want a Bulbasaur that has the face of Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Like. Who asked for this? And who's buying this besides me? Like, this is one of the weirder products that I just didn't understand. And I just knew that I had to buy it because I was like, what the f is this? Like, this is just insane. Insanity. So we're gonna put Dwayne back over there where they belong. And we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one is probably one of my favorites. And as a huge Pokemon fan, this has honestly, when I saw this, like I knew that I had to buy it because it was like really cool. I was just nerding out. I was fangirling. It was just really, really cool. So basically what it is, is the badge case from generation one. And as you can see, it has all of the badges inside here. It comes with all of these little pins of the badges from all of the first generation gym so it is very nostalgic it is really cool i really enjoy this the packaging is pretty interesting here it's just basically like cardboard um but the pins themselves like they are pretty cool like i would definitely like wear these on my bag or on some kind of accessory when i'm going out if i have um if i wanted to be a little bit subtle i could kind of flip it in there but even these ones here like if I take one of these out I just think that it's pretty cool I think that like the level of detail that they've actually put in for a product which is not from the official store or from the official company they've actually done a lot to maintain the aesthetic of like the original design which is really really cool and it is not actually badly done this one cost me I think around like 60 RMB and for 60 RMB I'm not mad <laughs> like I'm gonna put this like around my apartment, like in different places and just have them sort of like Easter eggs for my guests that come around if they actually do know what Pokemon <laughs> at all, then maybe they can actually like figure out like each of these gym badges are from the original gyms and it's really cool. Like you have like the Misty badge, 
Ah, oh, this one is probably one of my favorites. If you do like any of the products that you've seen in the video, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description so then you can check it out in the future um, and you can have a look and see if you could buy it as well. I believe that some of the Taobao sellers, they do ship it to overseas, but you will have the overseas cost and I can't guarantee like how long it's gonna be. Because I live in mainland, it only takes like about a week maximum for the products to get to me, but if I was living overseas, it could take up to like three months, for example. So if you do want to check them out, the link is in the bottom or in the bio. And I can't guarantee that they're going to look like anything that they look like here. These are just um, designed ones that I've basically been able to find on Taobao. So yeah, if you are interested, I'll leave the link in the bottom. Um, and yeah, you can check it out. Now, there are two more products left in this video, but one of the products is actually still in shipping. It's been in shipping for the past two months so i actually don't think that they have this in stock i'll put it on the screen here it is this bidu spool which i was really really excited to get but apparently like it's just taking a very long time to get here um so maybe they don't have any stock in in their inventory but the last one that actually did come and it's one of the more bigger ones <laughs> and it's something that i truly truly like i'm obsessed with we've been keeping the theme of like pikachu here so i just wanted to show you one of the weirdest pikachus i've ever <laughs> See, <laughs> say hello to Logachu. Basically, it is this giant, long Pikachu that you can hug at night. I think it's supposed to be like a pillow. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it looked really funny, and I knew that I had to buy it. This one was a little bit more expensive. It was about like eighty RMB, but you know, who doesn't want a big, long Pikachu like this in their bed? <laughs> like, what do you think? Mm, okay well on that note i think i'm gonna end the video here comment below what your favorite product was from this video and if you want me to do another taba haul i'm more than happy to kind of have a look and see what there is online i'm spending all my money and none of this is even sponsored or anything so it is definitely something um that i'm putting a little bit more effort into but if you did like this kind of video i want you to give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one so this part is for my subscribers only thank you so much for being a part of this journey and for supporting me along the way i really really do appreciate you and appreciate all the support and the love that we've had over the years for these types of videos and this content now you have maybe noticed there has been a shift in the channel so I've kind of steered away from making China only content or what it's like to live here as an expat in China. But it's not necessarily to say that I'm not gonna do this kind of content, it's just not what I want to focus on specifically and it's not this kind of content that's bringing me joy anymore. I wanted to dive into something a little bit different and show my personality a little bit more and look into things that I'm actually interested in, like for example the Pokemon review and traveling a little bit and showcasing what my life is like in a different way, but I just don't want people to come here to expect that it's going to be all about like teaching content, it's going to be about how to apply for visas in China and stuff like this. It's, I've changed the name of the channel as well, it's no longer Kelly in China, it's now World of Kelly. So I hope that you do understand and appreciate this shift. If you want to continue along this journey, then thank you so much for being on board. But if you do not, I completely understand and you're more than happy to scoot on over to someone else's channel but um i hope that you do stay here um along the journey and let's see how things go and where things go so thank you so much for always supporting and loving and being a part of this journey it means a lot to me so thank you again i hope to see you soon this is word of cali signing out okay bye